Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours in HUD homes in and around the San Antonio area. If you're watching this on HUDKing.com, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or click on the YouTube link to be taken to our YouTube page. While you're at our YouTube page, if you click on the subscribe button, you'll be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here at 5410 Harefield Drive. That's 5410 Harefield Drive over in Canterbury. This is a three bedroom, two and a half bath home, obviously two stories. It's approximately 1,600 square feet. It was built in 2009. Exterior is a combination of some wood trim and hardy plank, which is a very durable cement board siding. This home is about $10,000 underneath the county appraisal. It sits on about a 5,000 square foot lot. And exterior-wise, in decent shape. It really doesn't need anything. That's one of the good things about Hardy Plank. It's very durable. Maybe give it a little power washing. Let's look at the backyard. Well, we have access to the backyard through some sliding glass doors off of the kitchen. And it's pretty much a standard subdivision lot. You may want to consider putting up a privacy fence. I'm getting, rid getting rid of this little rubble pile here. Rear view of the home shows that it's really in decent shape. It really doesn't need anything on the exterior. Be nice if you built out a little covered patio here. Let's look at the inside. Well, as we step in, we are immediately into your living room. It's a big open space. I do like that because it makes the home feel larger than it actually is. Your living room is going to need a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. One thing to notice, there's some ceiling damage here. I, I believe it's from a bathroom upstairs. It may have leaked. We have your big open combined dining room and kitchen. Tons of countertop space, tons of cabinet space. I like the recessed lighting. Here you have your doors that take you out to the outside. It is missing the refrigerator, but the electric range is here, as is the dishwasher. Around the corner here, we have a little storage space here, our little study area. We have your indoor laundry room. Your washer and dryer connections are here inside, which is a perk. Pantry is around the corner. And then we have access into that one car garage. Pretty standard one car garage. You come in from the garage, you have your pantry, your laundry room, come into the kitchen here, put your groceries up, and then relax. We make our way upstairs. The carpet is extremely dirty on the staircase. Looks like some kids got in and possibly vandalized it. You want to replace the carpet. We get upstairs and we have a small upstairs living area here. Put a little desk or a nook, maybe a little a small little sofa and a TV. We have bedroom number two right up at the front of the home. Bedroom number two is actually in decent shape, but it will need some flooring and a tiny bit of sheetrock work. You can see there's a little bit of sheetrock damage there, but that's very, very minor. Next to that, we have full bathroom number one. It's a single vanity, shower and tub combo. There isn't any evidence on the floor that something leaked, but obviously down below that is where that water leak is. We have bedroom number two here. Bedroom number two, decent shape. It's going to need a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. And then at the rear of the home, we have bedroom number three, and which is also your master bedroom and master bath. Decent sized bedroom and bath. Come over here, we have your master bath. Single vanity, shower and tub combo. Bit, really big open bathroom. I think it's a good sized bathroom for this home. And then your master walk-in closet over here. That's it, the home really just needs a fresh coat of paint, some flooring, investigate and fix that little water leak, and you're pretty much done. And as I said, this home is about $10,000 underneath the county appraisal. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 5410 Harefield Drive. That's 5410 Harefield Drive. Yes, this home is going to need some painting and carpeting and some sheetrock work. You want to investigate that ceiling damage. It looks like it was possibly a small leak from upstairs. But this home is about $10,000 underneath the county appraisal, and it's actually $30,000 less than the identical home for sale right now in this neighborhood. This home is listed right now for only $100,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan, I am the HUD King, and I wanna help you find your castle.